Hey guys, it's Lady Rena Sorrow here, and welcome back to more Book of Shadow Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Alrighty, so no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Ugh. Sorry, like, I've been hanging posters all day, and like, won't freaking stay on my walls. They keep attacking me and want to smother me in my sleep. Ugh. Anyways. So, welcome back. Alright, so we finished episode 5, where we played as Shig. And now, uh, two more chapters to go. So, let's go in this. Episodes, episodes. I gotta, like, start making, start saying that they're episodes and not, um, and not chapters. But, what else? Let's go. kind of goody awesomeness are we gonna experience this time? <laughs> Uh-huh. We're gonna be playing as Yuka? Where am I? The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was the ceiling of a dark, gloomy room with flickering, uncovered light bulbs. The random bursts of light they shone were so dim that they only just barely lit up the wood grain on the ceiling, enough to see patterns in it. <laughs> Ow! The back of my head hurt in the same way it would if someone had just pulled my hair really hard. I couldn't do anything about it though, so I just frowned and waited for it to subside. I wondered if I'd hit my head somewhere. I can't remember a thing. I suddenly realized that my feet weren't touching the ground. And there was a cold sensation along my back. I must have been lying down on a hard surface. I tried to move, but both my arms and both my legs had gone to sleep and they wouldn't budge. I just have to keep lying here until they woke up. Or you move. I gave up on moving. Up to, and just, instead just stared up at the gloomy ceiling again. I don't like it. The wood green looks like a person's face. Uh oh. I knew it wasn't actually a person, but it really did look like one. And he was glaring down at me with a hateful expression. It was creepy. I'm pretty sure that's not the ceiling you're staring at. Why does it look familiar? Where have I seen that face before? Oh, that was it. It looked like the scream? That... Munch? <laughs> I know that's not how I pronounce the name, but... Painting we studied in class, except this face was screaming in anger. He hated me. <laughs> So, I'm really starting to get scared now. If only Big Brother were here with me. He'd just pat my head and laugh and tell, tell me how silly I was being. Do you not understand the situation you're in, Yuka? Oh yeah, where is Big Brother, by the way? I was still a little disorientated, but I turned and twisted my head as best I could manage to see if I could find him anywhere nearby. Why was I sleeping in a place like this anyway? Because you were hit over the head and you were put there! And why was a big brother at my side like he always was? Oh. Uh, okay. I remember bringing Big Brother his umbrella, then doing some kind of charm with his friends, and then I was in an old school building. Oh still, to this, even in the alternate reality, she still wouldn't piss in the bucket. And then Big Brother and I were looking all over for a bathroom so I could go pee, but we got separated. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, Yuka, you are adorable and cute and all, but you can definitely not survive in a situation like this. Why were we in this school to begin with? Maybe the charm failed, and this was our punishment? Maybe I was the one who messed it up. I probably shouldn't even be- should have been in- been there. And if I hadn't asked him to help me try to find a bathroom, we wouldn't be separated right now. Yeah, you should have pissed in the damn bucket! I should have just held his hand and not let go. I could have lasted a little longer without peeing. Then we'd still be together. <laughs> What happened to me after that? So, that's right. I finally found a bathroom, but when I went inside... There were people hanging in there. Lots of them. I was so freaked out, I went back into the hall and collapsed onto the floor, and then... And then... I was talking with someone. Kisami... <sighs> He was a boy who gotten separated from his little sister, I think. So, he said he helped me find Big Brother. His name? So. Kisami Yuya san. So, that's right. His name was Yuya Kisami. <laughs> What was that? It hurts. It really hurts. Why can't I move? Why? I then realized that I couldn't see my arms. Where were they? Why weren't they at my sides? Oh boy. They were still numb too, so I couldn't feel where they were, where they were either, but I tried my best to move them anyway. That sounded like a rope? Am I tied up? I thought maybe the reason I couldn't feel my arms or legs or couldn't move is because I was tied up really tight and it was cutting off my circulation. Come on, move! With some effort, I was finally able to move my fingertips. I started feeling everything I could, grateful even for this little bit of reassurance. I feel something. The rope around my wrists had been tied up tight and looped many times over, and with the circulation trickling back into my hands, it was really painful. Ugh, that, those pins and needles feeling? I was so scared, it felt like I'd forgotten how to breathe. It's probably Kasami. The footsteps were echoing from out in the hallway. They stopped right in front of this room. Highly doubt it. Big brother! Big brother! Oh, who could it be? I wriggled in place and screamed as loud as I could. That it was not screaming. I didn't even care about the old slip splintery splintery rope cutting into my wrists and ankles anymore. Big brother, big brother, save me! It's Yuka! I'm right here! Save me, please! <sighs> mm. Two hated characters. Kisami and Sachiko. Fifty... I 
hate you. <laughs> you shouldn't ride around like that. The ropes ju uh, will just hurt that much more. I hate you. I hate you so much. My apologies for the long wait. It was so dark in here. You must have been terrified, you fucker. Please be okay. Please end up to be okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Are you alright, Yuka? He was looking at me with a caring, sympathetic smile on his face. He seemed to be really concerned about me. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Please save me when I came to. I was all tied up. Ah. So Fuck you! <laughs> you were indeed, and I'm the one responsible for that. I wanted to make sure I never got separated from my dear little sister ever again. Oh my goodness. Little sister? You, of course. That's why I had to tie you down, so you wouldn't ever leave me. Why, Kisami? Are you joking with me? See, at this point, you just go with the psychotic behavior, and you might live? Why, you ask? What is, a si what is a silly question? I already told you, because you're my little sister. What part of that don't you understand? I don't understand it at all. I'm... I'm not... Well, you are still just a child, so maybe you're simply too young to comprehend. But worry not, your big brother will tell you all about it. <laughs> We're siblings after all, we simply have to reach an understanding. His eyes looked like they were staring off into the distance, like he was in a trance, like he was possessed, or a demon, or he's just a fucking psychopath. I'm scared, big brother, I'm scared. I thought she said kawaii, and I'm like, what? Why was he doing this? Why did he tie me up? And why did he look so happy about it? What is this? Uh... Oh, I didn't get any of it. Every hair on my body was standing on end. I was terrified. Isn't there any way I can escape? The corners of my eyes were on fire. I couldn't stop myself from crying. Tears were flowing down my face like a waterfall. Oh, I didn't even check to see how many wrong endings they were. I don't think there were many. <laughs> Kasami smiled and reached out and touched my te <laughs> touched my cheek, bastard. His hand was ice cold. It was like there was no blood flowing through it at all. Like the hand of a dead person, which is odd, but okay. Okay, that answered my question. I've been waiting for you so long for, you, so long for you to wake up. It's time to wake up now. <laughs> so... Fuck you. Fuck you. 
いい声で泣いてくれるよね。So, fuck you, Kasami! Fuck you! Fuck you! Now show me that spark of life. Put everything you got into it and cry for me, Yuka. Cry as loud as you can. He slowly and hesitantly took his hand off my cheek and then began walking around me towards my feet. You goddamn poster, I'm gonna murder you! <sighs> then he gently grabbed my skirt with one hand and drew a knife from his breast pocket with the other. <gasps> <laughs> It's show time! I hate you! So, so did I. I was going to tell you that I was going to tell you that I was going to Kasami and Sajiko are like the scums of the earth that need to be eradicated with fire. They're just like that. That's the voice I've been longing to hear and the face I've been longing to see. It's only when one's terror and hopelessness reach their peak that the soul truly shines like a psychopath. That's what I want. I want to see more. Direct more of that at me. <sighs> Yuka chan? Yuka chan nara m o t t o k a g a y a k e r h a z n a n d a I hope, like, no, like, nobody can hear me, cause, like. <laughs> it's like every. Oh, God. Okay, Yuka? Yuka, I know you're capable of shining even brighter. Well, don't you worry. Your big brother will help you reveal that light. Covered in blood and writhing in pain. Oh, true suffering is a far, far prettier sight than this. Hmm? <laughs> So, what's wrong, Yuka? This is no time to rest. The fun is only just beginning. So, Oni chan te y o n d e gora? So, oh, so why don't you try calling me Big Brother? Big brother, save me! Big brother, please come save me! What are you saying, Yuka? Your big brother is right here! Look! Right in front of your eyes! No, my big brother is. The panic and fear just kept getting more overpowering, and I think I was hyperventilating. But Kasami showed no mercy. Instead, he reached out and grabbed my neck. Living rabbits really do make far too much noise. Can't breathe! Hey, Kasami. What a thin neck you have. So soft and supple. 
頸椎の形がよくわかるよじゃあなんて戦場的な作りをしているんだ君の数字は I can feel your car okay good the artery in your neck that's very um very uh Uh, important to not have cut open. Uh, artery in your cervical vertebrae perfectly. These muscles, these curvature, so sensual, like it was made for my hand. I hate you, Kasami. Haha. <laughs> 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 It is painful. It must be painful. <laughs> you go! <coughs> I hate you, Kasami! Oh, I hope he dies. Well, he. Well, he did, but I hope in this version he dies much more painfully. You got a lot in the world. So. Oh my god. This is your fault, you know. I'm your only big brother around here. With that, he let go of my neck, but then hastily pulled the knife in his hands right up to my face. He made sure I could see every inch of it clearly and just held it there, slowly turning it for what felt like an eternity. Have you gotten a good look at it, Yuka? The knife was stained with red splatter marks. No, not even red, just dark. It wasn't a color I knew well, but oops. But there was only one thing I could have. It could have been. <laughs> no shit! Ah, Korekai? Shinpai shinakte mo iyo? Skoshi kurosaki de yogorete irukedo. Mada yok kireru kara. Oh, this? No need to worry. Kurosaki dirtied it a bit, but it still cuts like new. <laughs> I was shivering so hard I could feel my teeth vibrating. A chill ran through every part of me as if I were so afraid of that it actually lowered my body temperature. The chattering coming from inside my mouth was getting louder and louder to such an extent that I, even I was getting distracted by it. So, what a lovely face. What a lovely face. My little sister is doing an excellent job, but her clothes are in the. Oh, God. Holy shit, overtime music, man. Kasami suddenly tore my uniform, exposing my stomach. Oh my god. If something does not happen to him, I'm gonna punch this screen and I'm gonna yell, Done! What's this? Your belly is bouncy like a. Like a water balloon, it must be full of guts. He laid the knife blade flat across my belly button, and the sudden sensation of cold metal against my skin sent even more shivers up and down my spine. <laughs> If it hurts, feel free to scream, okay? Uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> That's all you got? What's the matter, What's the matter, Yuka? You haven't. What's the matter, Yuka? You haven't given up, uh, given up already, have you? Not after I finally gotten my hands on the little sister I've always wanted. <laughs> my.
My throat was completely dry. I'm guessing that. I actually wanted to cry for help, but the walls of my of my air pipes were sticking together. Breathing was hard enough. Fuck you. Yuka. Answer me, Yuka. Fuck you! Oh, that was creepy! Oh, that was creepy! That was right in my ear! That's a good girl. Now it's time for the main event. <laughs> so, oh my god, these voice actors must have had so much fun playing all these psychotic characters. So, fear had taken over. I couldn't hold myself back. I knew it wouldn't go over well, and I knew it would hurt, but I forced myself to cry out. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What's with the knocking? So, I'm your big brother, remember? Apologize, Yuka! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Now that simply won't do. You have to say, Big Brother, I'm so very sorry. Do it right this time. <laughs> Yika. Good job, Yuka. My big... My big brother isn't you, Kasami! Fuck off! I'm not your big brother? Yeah, I was gonna say the exact same thing. What was that just now? Did I imagine it? Imagine what? Imagine what? Oh. I don't like this chapter. So, hate me so much it makes you wet yourself? So I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Hmm. Kyomi bukai na. Sonna kakko ni natte made ani kyo yobu no ka. Oh, oh, the darkening. Is that what the 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 ch things are like? That is not a glitch. Like I'm seeing seeing that happen. So how very interesting. Even in such an embarrassing state, you still call out for your help. Um, for help from your big brother. Pitiful. Yeah, 
You're my adorable little sister, and I'm gonna make you feel real good. So there's no need to lie there crying in your own urine. It's pitiful. Oh what the fuck is that? Pitiful? Did I just look down at this girl and call her pitiful? Why? Why am I feeling pity for her? What's happened to me? What is going on? The poor girl? How is it that I even that even I can exhibit such useless empty emotions? Man, dude, you are like using the dictionary. Holy shit. Is there some is there still some remnant of potential within a man like me to birth these paltry platitudes? So what? Is he having just a moral... What? I'm not like the others. And yet even I. Keep telling you, there's no way my little boy would do something like that. But I'm afraid it's true. Your little boy, Yuya, brandished a pair of scissors with intent to harm another child. Why are we learning about him? I don't give a shit about him. He is torturing Yuka. He is torturing a child. No! I don't care about his past. I don't care what could happen in his future. All I know is that the future I want him to be is in the ground stabbed to death. <sighs> so you're saying this was done on purpose? So wait, did he kill the kid? By the time we arrived on the scene, he was looking down at his own bloodied hand and laughing. We've done everything we can for him on our end. How you wish to deal with him now is up to you. To throw him in a mental ward would have been a good option. Please, wait! What? Aw, I couldn't even manage to crush his eye. What? Kasami, I don't give a shit about you. Ever since I was little, I've been unable to put myself in another man's shoes. I possess no sympathy, no empathy, no respect for life. Which is why you gotta die! Shidaini Oyatachua. Akuma demo miruyo na mede. Slowly but surely, my parents started to see me like I was some kind of devil. They shunned me. They ignored me. They didn't throw you in a mental institute? They'd focus, they'd focus all their love and affection on my older brother and sister. On my highly successful and generally upstanding brother and sister. Yeah, because they weren't psychopaths. Fuck off. I don't give a shit. Just die. <laughs> Everybody liked them, and I began to realize just how different life was for people who are well regarded. So, and since my parents had given up on me, those siblings were the only ones who ever looked after me. 
、その吐き気がするほどの優等生ぶりを振りかざし、熱心に俺を、いい弟にしようとした。My brother was, was particularly obnoxious, always flaunting his honor student status and trying to make me into a good little boy. It was sickening, so I stabbed him. I t s a ani no tachiba o liyo shite, ore ni mele shi, ore ni s t s k o k t s k i m a t o t a He'd use his standing as my elder to boss me around and would even follow me to make sure I was behaving. So da, shogakse no koro. 俺は一度だけ本気で兄にぶつかったことがあった。Back in school, I stood up to my older brother. Him in the eye. な,なんてことしてるんだ What the hell are you doing? ヒューヤ、何を燃やしたんだヒューヤ、何を燃やしたんだヒューヤ、何を燃やしたんだヒューヤ、何を燃やしたんだヒューヤ、何を燃やしたんだヒューヤ、So, it was an animal. Oh, are you mad because it smells? I just killed it now, so it still had some blood left in it. I was gonna. It was gonna smell no matter what. <coughs> what was the hell was that for, asshole? I honestly had no idea why he struck me, but this was the first time I'd. Ever been on the receiving end of violence, and I was pissed. I tried to jump him, but he was just too big. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs>